nice to see you again. Welcome to the show. I like to start every show with a little thought, a little observation, a bit of philosophy. How come, if milk, butter and cream are bad for you, we've never heard of a cow having a heart attack? Hey? Eh? <laughs> get you thinking. Let's get on and meet today's contestants. Here we go. <laughs> milk, butter and cream get myself hungry there. Do you like all the things that are bad for you in life, Kath? Some of them. Yeah, they say, don't you, if you give up everything that you like, nice food and you, you give up wine and a little drink here and there, you don't live longer, you know. Mm. It just seems longer. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> so tell us a bit about yourself, where you come from, what you do. Uh, I'm from Wigan. Yeah. I'm a housewife. Oh, yeah. I'm married to Mark and I've got a son, Paul. All right. How old's he, Paul? Nine. Is he, is he a little tinker, is he? Yeah. Is he? Do you clean his face with spit on a hanky and say, pack it in? <laughs> no, not that bad. You don't, do you? No. All right, well, all the best on the show, okay. Kath. Give Kathy a nice big hand. The best of luck to you on showing that, everybody. Hi, Trevor. Hi. How are you? Fine. I'm not going to do Clever Trevor, all those Ian Dewey songs. You're very yeah. pleased to hear that, aren't you? Tell us a bit about yourself, mate. What do you want to know? I'm old, fat. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, old fat men need love and care too, don't we, Trevor? We do, that's very true. Listen, yeah. I keep saying this, we are not fat, we've just got the fuller figure, haven't we? Absolutely, that's right. That's <laughs> <laughs> and in fact, you, you're a bit like me in some way. Underneath there, you were telling me... I've got a big me. dimple, exactly the same as yours. Yeah. In fact, somebody asked if uh, we were related. Maybe oh. my father had strayed. Yeah, well, my dad had a bike, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, this dimple is useful when you're eating chips in bed. You keep the salt. salt. Absolutely. Absolutely right. <laughs> <laughs> All the best on the show, Trevor. Good luck much. to you. you. <laughs> Hello, Casey. Uh, right, tell us all about yourself, Casey. Um, work for Chimera Polymers as a research technician. I'm oh. studying a degree part time. Polymers, that's. Mm, uh... Plastics. Related yeah. to plastics, yeah. Uh, nothing to do with parrots, just thought I'd get that in there. <laughs> Polly, poly... Oh. Uh. <laughs> and so, have you got a degree or anything like I'm that? I'm studying one part-time, currently in the first year. Yes? Mm. Are you finding it easy? No. Degrees no. are never easy, they don't give them away. They don't, do they? A BSc it's going to be, is yes, it? Yes, it is. All right, well, you're looking all uh, primed up and ready to go on the show. All the very best okay. to you, Katie. Give her a nice big hand. Yeah. And all our contestants on Chain Matters. Here we go. So, we've got three uh, contenders ready to do battle. <laughs> it's a bit like the gladiators, isn't it? Uh, Wordsworth's going to show our contestants a list of four hidden words. They pick just one of them, then make the longest chain possible in 45 seconds. All right? You know that bit, don't you? All right, Cathy from Wigan, good luck to you. You've got one, two, three or four. Which one would you like, love? Number one, please. Number one for you. It's sink. All right. <laughs> did your heart sink then, did it? <laughs> you can do this, Catherine, all right? Remember, change the letter, say the word, and then spell it for me. Good luck to you. And your 45 seconds start now. Change the S into a P, P-I-N-K, pink. Change the K into E, pine, P-I-N-E. Change the P into S sign, S-I-N-E. Change um, the I into O, son, S-O-N-E. Change the N into L, sol, S-O-L-E. Change the S into N, mol, M-O-L-E. Change the E into T, malt, M-O-L-T. Change the O into A, malt, M-A-L-T. Change the M into so S, salt, S-A-L-T. Change the T into E, sail, S-A-L-E. Change the S into P, pale, P-A-L-E. Change the A into O, pole, P-O-L-E. Did you get that? Let's have a look. You didn't quite. You were just out of time there, but you played brilliantly. You got 11, <laughs> Catherine, 55. <laughs> hey! And you got uh, sewn, which is a unit of sound. You knew that, didn't you? <laughs> she said, lying. <laughs> and uh, you also got sole, which is a fish. We went for a piece of fish last night, the chippy round the corner, marvellous. I said, I'll have a piece of fish, please. The fellow said, it won't be long. I said, it better be thick then. And, <laughs> look, I keep saying this to the audience, it's free to come in. <laughs> <laughs> Trevor, a man who likes fish and chips, no doubt. Yeah, you do? Absolutely. OK, enigmatic. Two, three or four, which do you want? Number two, please. Number two for you. Let's see what you got. Hull. All right, the hull of a ship. 45 seconds for you, Trevor, and your time starts now. Change the H to an M to make mull, M-U-L-L. Take, change the second L to E to make mule, M-U-L-E. Change the U to A to make male, M-A-L-E. Change the L to R to make mare, M-A-R-E. Change the M to C to make care, C-A-R-E. Change the E to T to make cart, C-A-A-T. Change the C to P to make part, P-A-R-T. Change the T to E to make air, E to make pair, P-A-R-E. Change the P to F to make fair, F-A-R-E. Change the A to I to make fire, F-I-R-E. Change the F to T to make tire, T-I-R-E. 
change the I to A to make tear, T-A-R-E. Absolutely fabulous to start. 12 right, 60, Trevor. Yeah. To pair, of course, to pair off or, or cut away there. Great start. Well, Catherine got 55, you got 60. A great start there. So, Katie, got it all to play for. Three or four, which would you Three, like? please. Three for our BSc student. You've got Nave. Remember, change the letter, say the word, and then spell it. Good luck, and your 45 seconds start now. Change the V to an M, N A M E, name. Change. <coughs> Sorry, no. the V. Change the V to M, name, M A N A M E. Change the M to a T, tame, T A M E. Change the A to an I, time, T-I-M-E. Change the M to an L, tile, T-I-L-E. Change the I to an A, tail, T-A-L-E. Change the T to an M, male, M-A-L-E. Change the L to an N, main, M-A-N-E. Change the A to an I, mine, M-A-I-N-E. <laughs> I got the letters wrong. Um, Change the M to a C, Cine, S-C-I-N-E. You haven't got anything wrong at all. You've got nine, which is 45. Great start, Katie. <laughs> Listen, uh, on a, I say an ordinary show, but uh, on a lesser scoring show, that would take you into the lead, 45 in the first round. But, unfortunately, it takes you on to third place, Katie. Let's have a look. <laughs> 45 points to you. Catherine on 55. A great start. Trevor on 60. <laughs> Right, Trevor there, you're our winner so far. You're on 60. You're a, you were a baby boomer, weren't you? Born in... That's right, yeah. Born in the lump. Born in the what? The year of the lump, which is why... Really. Oh, I see. They call it the year they of the lump, the year of the lump 1947, right. a baby boomer. Right, well, we'll leave lumps alone, but we've got lamp there, and you've got ward, uh, pin and flay. You've got four words for the booby trap round, and you're going to have first crack at this, Trevor. So which uh, word would you like? Ward, please. You're going to have ward, all right. Now, on the booby trap round, what you're going to do is pick a letter and then change it and make a brand new word. So which letter are you going to change, Trevor? The W, please. So change that W. Right, Katie and Catherine, chance to pinch the points now, and you're going to do this on your screens and come up with a prediction as to what new word Trevor is going to make. Good luck to you. You've got ten seconds to do that, and your time, ladies, starts now. They have made their predictions. Trevor, avoid the booby traps, change that W, and give me a new word, please. Change the W to a B to make bard. A bard, of course, the bard of Avon. You've done it. You've changed it. Do you want to stick on ten? No, I'll go on, please. You're going to go on. All right, then, Trevor, well, change that B one more time for me, please. Change the B to a Y to make yard. Yes, once again. <laughs> 30. Is he going to stick or is he going to double up to 40? What's he going to do? What are you going to do, Trevor? I'll go on again. Please. He's going to go on. Give him a huge ovation. <laughs> right, Trevor, change that Y and give me a brand new word. Avoid those booby traps. Change the Y to an L to make lard. Oh! Katie and Catherine got lard. And Trevor, I think they're picking on us. I think don't they you? are, definitely, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> but Katie and Catherine, you've both added 40 to your scores. Well played indeed, the ladies. Give them a nice big hand. Yay, so Katie. Right. Well, they really got themselves some valuable points there. And uh, Catherine, it's your turn to play now. You've gone into the lead, in fact. So, Catherine, which word would you like? Um. That's peen or pen or flay or lamp. Lamp. You're going to have lamp, all right. Which letter are you going to change in a moment to make uh, a booby trap or to avoid a booby trap? Um. What would you like? The air, please. You're going to change that A. All right, kid. All right. Does anyone ever say that to you? Sometimes. What do they say to you? Go on. My mum looks like Vera Dutton. Does your mum, does she look like Vera Dutton? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you watching, kid? Are you, Jack? <laughs> All right. Well, you're going to change that A in a moment. Let's get on with the little matter of the game. All right, Trevor and Katie, you're going to set a booby trap now. Change that A and give us a brand new word, please. Ten seconds to do that, starting now. <laughs> right. They did it in about three seconds. Brilliantly there. Right, Catherine, avoid the booby traps. Change that A. Give us a new word. Into I. Limp. Limp. <laughs> Casey got it. She got limp. <laughs> I've got to tell you, Trevor's digging himself deeper and deeper here because he had lump. <laughs> <laughs> they were the only two I could think of, so I was, they haven't got the hardest stuff. Oh, uh, you got stuck. Well, never mind. Uh, Kate, Katie pinched your turn. Perhaps you can get a bit of revenge now because uh, we're going on to Katie's turn to play and you can have pin or flay. What would you like? Pin or pan or flay? 
I was half paean. You're going to have paean, right, which is a heraldic fur. Differing from ermine, only in the ground being, uh, only in the ground being sable and the spots or. <laughs> if you understood any of that, once again, phone me on 0898 and I'll tell you what it really means. It's heraldic fur, as worn by Queen Camilla. OK. <laughs> Katie, getting a bit controversial there. You've got uh, four letters. Which one do you want to change? N. You're going to change that N. All right. Catherine and Trevor, your chance to set a booby trap now. Ten seconds to do that, starting now. <laughs> Right, they've made predictions. Katie, are you going to avoid them? Change the N to an R pair. Yeah, great thinking there. You've added ten. <laughs> <laughs> Our studio audience are playing along. They went, oh, I never thought of that way. Can you mind? Can you? All right. Do you want to double up to 20? Yeah. You're going to do it. All right, change it one more time, please. Change the R. To an L. Yeah. A peal of applause. Can you have a peal of applause? No, you can't have a peal of applause. You have a peal of bells, don't you? Now, you're going to stick on the 20, Katie, because you're in the lead, or you're going to double up to 40? I'll stick. She's going to stick. Good on you, kid. <laughs> Give her a nice hand there. Let's have a look at the scores. Well, we see that Trevor, who started this round in the lead, has now become third on 90. Catherine is on 95. Give us a cheesy grin. And in the lead, it's our student there, our BSc student on 125. It's a Katie! <laughs> Right, we're going to have a rub down with a copy of the TV Times. We'll join you in two minutes for the Super Chain. One of them's going to be taking away a thousand pounds. We'll see you then. I hope you do anyway. Coleman's know that some days you want to cook your family a real meal. Coleman's makes a real meal. New Felix Special Cuts. Delicious meaty chunks cut and cooked in nourishing gravy. Cats like Felix like Felix Special Cuts. New Detox Antibacterial Mould and Mildew Remover. An easy way to get rid of mildew and bacteria. After work, Mrs. Fields fancied cooking her husband, Paddy, something other than plain rice. Hmm, it didn't look likely. Until bachelors gave her a helping hand with delicately flavoured rice. The finest quality rice with a subtle new blend of toasted almond and ginger. Mr. Fields was so impressed, he insisted on making the tea. Shame he wasn't as delicate as the rice. Delicately flavoured rice, another helping hand from Bachelors. Uh, but first of all, please let there be love. If you and your partner are over 45 and drive the same car, you could save money on your motor insurance. Just call us direct. Offer extended. Book before February 28th and save £30 a week. Smile. You're in Haven. Phone 0800 20 30 40 for our new brochure now. Over breakfast at Simpsons in the Strand, we tried a little experiment. Well, I didn't. I didn't realise. I had no idea. I wouldn't have known. So I'd never have believed. Well, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have guessed. No, I couldn't have guessed. Did any of our guests spot they were eating delight low-fat spread? It wouldn't have occurred to me that this was a low-fat spread. It's absolutely delicious. If it's delicious and light, it's delight. <laughs> piece of string walks into a pub. He says, gin and tonic. The barman says, we don't serve string. Get out. This other piece of string walks in and says, uh, pint of beer. He says, you piece of string? He says, no, I'm afraid not. <laughs> Ignore them, Catherine. No, no, no. Catherine, Trevor and Katie, 
Take a notice of this mob that we've got in here. You're enjoying yourselves, that's the main thing. And we're going on now to play the chain gang, all right? Wordsworth's going to show you a four-letter word. All you do is change the letter, make a new word, then pass it on, get rid of all your troubles and pass them on to the next member of the chain gang. If you can do it, five points added to your score. If you can't, five points taken away. We're going to start there with Katie, who's in the lead on 125. All right, Katie, your word is lung. The best of luck to you. And the chain gang starts with you now. Change the L to a B, bung, B-U-N-G. Ch change the U to an A, bang, B-A-N-G. Change the G to an E to make bane, B-A-N-E. Change the B to a V, vein, B-A-N-E. Change the A into an I, vine, B-I-N-E. Change the V to a W to make wine, W-I-N-E. Change the E to a D, wind, W-I-N-D. Change the I into A, wand, W-A-N-D. Change the N to an R to make ward, W-A-R-D. Oh. Change the D to an E, where, W-A-R-E. Change the W into H, her, H-A-R-E. Change the A to an I to make higher, H-I-R-E. Change the H to a W, wire, W-I-R-E. Yes, impeccable stuff. 100% on the chain gang. Brilliant. Oh, brilliant stuff there. So, we still see Trevor on 110, Catherine on 115. Great score in this. Katie still in the lead on 150. <laughs> yes, Katie's our winner so far, and after this round, we're going to be saying goodbye to two of our contestants. One of them will be playing for the chance to win £1,000 in the Super Chain, because it's now that round where anything can happen. Yes, it's tie the leader. So, Wordsworth, give us a five-letter word. Give us a plus. Give us a minus and get moving. Now, you know what happens? Wordsworth lands on a letter, you change the letter and make a brand new word, OK? Lands on the plus, add a letter. If he lands on a minus, you take a letter away, making a brand new word every time. And Wordsworth, being a kind sort of fellow, will show you how much each new word is worth. It could be 10, 20, 40 or even tie the leader. So anyone could be right up there in the lead with whoever's in the lead at the time. Because you're playing marvellously, very high scoring going into this round, all in the hundreds already. So you get cryptic clues as well. Fingers on the buzzers, folks. Here we go with Ty the Leader. And Wordsworth, get moving. Here's your first clue. A cub grows up to be one. And it's Catherine straight into Ty the Leader. Change the H to a C, Scout. S-C-R-U-T. You're quite right, Catherine. Yay! Yes. <laughs> Catherine doesn't need a microphone because you can hear him wigging already. <laughs> Tied the leader. Brilliant stuff. Here's your next clue. OK. Search for a clean frying pan. And it's Trevor Change for 20. Change the T to an R to make scour. S -C -O -U -R. A search or a scour. Trevor, you've had a 20. Well played. <laughs> Here's your next one. It leaves a nasty taste in your mouth. Catherine for 20. Take the C away. Sour. S-O-U-R. Absolutely right. <laughs> and if Catherine says it's Thursday, it's Thursday. <laughs> Whatever the day is. Here's your next clue. It makes a horse go faster. That's the point. And Trevor, for tie the leader. Change the O to a P to make spur, S-P-U-R. You've got it. You're in the lead, <laughs> along with Catherine. <laughs> Katie, you can be right up there with them with one go. Here's your next clue. Shadow boxes are open, and it's Catherine. Change the U to an A, spare, S P A R. Absolutely right. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Catherine looks all serious, and she goes, Yes. That's <laughs> it. Okay, here's your next clue. The mint with the pole, and it's Catherine again for twenty. Add an E to make spear, S P E A R. You've got it, Catherine. You've added another twenty. <laughs> it's a fair old clip for a sheep. Catherine again. Change the P into H, Shear. S H E A R. Absolutely right. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look down. Move away fast. <laughs> Catherine, do you want to try it? Change the A to an E, Shear. No, S H W -E E R. I'm saying no, but well, what I mean is yes, you're absolutely right. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a code I use. When I say no, I in fact mean yes. All right. <laughs> Here's your next clue. He knows who'll win next week's lottery. He knows who'll win next week's lottery. Trevor, Take away the H to make Seer, S-E-E-R. Absolutely right, you've got it. <laughs> Here's your next clue. A sly look at Shakespeare's King Catherine for 40. Change the S into a P, Pia. 
PWR? Uh, no, it's not. Oh, it's know. not. It's not actually. So Trevor and Katie, think a little laterally here. Trevor for 40. Change the second E to an A to make Leah. L E A R. It's not. It, it, it's not, it's not. I know what you're thinking, but it, it, it's a cryptic clue, this. A sly look at Shakespeare's king. Katie, do you want to take it? I'll tell you. Go on, try it for 40. No, I can't. Thank no, it's, a, it's in fact, change the S to an L, please, Wordsworth, Leah. to make Lear. You were thinking of King Lear, but a sly look or a Lear. All right, then. Yes, yeah, tricky stuff here. Here's your next clue. Revel backwards to find this switch. Trevor for 20. Out of V to make lever, L-E-V-E-R. You've got it. You've added 20. Well played. <laughs> All the world loves one. Trevor for 20. Change the E to an O to make lover, L-O-V-E-R. Absolutely right. All the world loves a lover. <laughs> it's well and truly finished. Trevor for tie the leader. Take away the L to make over, O-V-E-R. Absolutely right. Well and truly finished, over. You're tying the leader with Catherine. Here's your next clue. A baker usually has a bun in his. Catherine for 40. Change the R into N. Oven. O-V-E-N. A bun in the oven. You're right. <laughs> Ding dong stuff here. Here's the next clue. Where witches go for a spell. Trevor for 20. Out of C to make coven. C-O-V-E-N. A witch's coven. Catherine and Trevor, toe to toe. Casey could buzz in here. Here's your next clue. Brighton's nudists like their private ones. And it's Catherine again. Ch uh, move the N. Cove. C-O-V-E. Absolutely right. A private cove. Brighton's nudists. Oh. <laughs> I, <laughs> I was starting a clue. We're out of time on Tide the Leader. A fantastic round. Katie's on 150. Trevor's on 270. But a fantastic score. Going on to play for the £1,000 in the super chain. It's Catherine. Oh. <laughs> Oh, great round. Trevor. Trevor, our baby boomer. 270 is a fantastic score. Mm. He, look, he's gutted. He cannot <laughs> speak. The baby boomer's booming no more. But you're a great battler. You get your uh, portable CD to take Just away. Just what I've always wanted. Just what you... Mm. <laughs> I don't know whether he means that or not, but I hope he does. All the very best to Trevor. Give him a nice big hand. Well played. And well played. Thank you. Well played. Hey, she was great there from Wigan, wasn't she? Oh, she was, um, yeah. Trevor was a good competitor as well. Yeah. You played very well indeed. Good luck with your studies. Thank you. You're going to get the portable CD player. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> and, and our best wishes as well. Give Katie Thank a lovely big much. hand. Well played to you, Ella. Right. But now, going on to play in that super chain and the chance for £1,000, it's Wigan's very own Catherine. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Back to the super chain. You've got a brilliant knowledge of words and letters. You've done really marvellously. 330 is a great score. Wordsworth's going to give you in a moment a four-letter word. He'll show you which letter he wants you to change. Every time you change it successfully to make a brand new word, you're going to earn <laughs> 50 pounds to take away. All right? Mm -hmm. If you can do it 10 times in a minute, even better, you're going to get a thousand pounds. So you're going to get some money, whatever happens. I know that. All right? Yeah. All of Wigan's cheering for you. The whole nation's cheering for you. Wordsworth, give us that four-letter word. All right, there, Catherine. It's port, OK? Your time will only start when Wordsworth lands on the first letter. Remember, you can pass a couple of times, mm. a few times, and still get round there, nice and briskly. The very best of luck to you, and your time starts now. Change the teen to E, Paul, P-O-R-E. Change the R into L, Paul, P-O-L-E. Change the O into I, Paul, P-I-L-E. Change the L into N, Pine, P I N E. Change the E into K, Pink, P I N K. Pass. Change the P into S, Sink, S I N K. Change the I into A, Sank, S A N K. Change the S into T, Tank, T A N K. Change the A into I, T I N K. Change the N, pass. Change the S into T. Oh, kidder! Kidder! Oh, give her a huge hand there. She got nine out of ten. Cat. Oh, so. <laughs> Just willing you to get it there. You got £450. Didn't she play marvellously? £450. Come and join us, you two. Trevor and Katie as well. 
Oh, it was a great show. The very best of uh, commiserations to you, anyway. Join us again soon for more chain letters. Goodbye, everyone. Oh, darling. Thank you.